Halloween. Welcome to the final night of the 13 Nights of Fright on my channel. If you can guess, um, I'm a vampire because what else would I be? Look at me. You know what I mean? Before I start the video, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching my 13 Nights of Fright series on my channel. I really appreciate all of you and it means so much to me that you guys took the time out of your day to watch them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's currently Halloween right now and I thought it was the perfect chance to explain where Halloween actually comes from because not too many people really know the origin of Halloween. So for those of you who thought Halloween was actually invented by the candy companies, well, I hate to break it to you, but you were lied to as a child because it wasn't. So, the Halloween tradition actually started about 2,000 years ago with the Celts. October 31st marked the end of harvest season for them, and they celebrated it with a festival called the Sowin Festival. That night also marked the Celtic New Year, which was considered a time in between the years where the veil in between the spirit world and the living world was actually lifted. They feared this night so much because they thought the spirits of the dead were gonna come back and haunt them. So what they would do is light giant bonfires to ward the spirits away, and they would also dress up in disguises so that the spirits couldn't recognize them. But once the Catholic Church caught wind of this, they decided to make a holiday for the following day, November 1st, called All Saints Day, where they celebrated all the different saints in the Catholic Church. But back then, All Saints Day wasn't called All Saints Day. It was actually called Hallow Mass, Hallow meaning saints, so the Mass of the Saints. And the day before Hallow Mass was All Hallows Eve. Now, the Catholic holiday and the Celtic holiday had one thing in common. They both celebrated the afterlife. So, where does that come in today? Well, All Hallows Eve eventually evolved into Halloween, but we still follow a lot of the Celtic traditions. Number one, dressing up in costumes to scare away our spirits, but really it's just dressing up in costumes to get candy. But same thing, like we're still dressing up in the costume. Number two, lighting the fire. Do you know where we light the fire on Halloween? Of course, it's inside of a jack-o'-lantern. We carve out a jack-o'-lantern and leave it on our front porch in order to ward away any bad spirits that want to come into our houses. So I guess we're really just celebrating the old Celtic tradition of sewing. I mean, it all sounds the same to me, but it's your call. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. I'm sure there's so much more to the story that I don't know and that I didn't tell you all, but if there's stuff that I missed, please leave it in the comments down below because I would love to learn more about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my whole 13 Nights of Halloween series. I really had so much fun making this for you guys and I hope you guys stick around to see what comes next because I'm gonna be making so much more content now. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching these videos. It means the absolute world to me. And I will see you guys soon. I love you all so much. Happy Halloween. Stay spooky. Peace out. Bye. Boop.